starts with knowing whether you're going or not, and with whom. It helps if the boy is early with the invitation. That way the girl feels she's his first choice. And naturally it's only fair that the girl accept or reject as soon as possible. In most places it's customary for the boy to give the invitation in person or by telephone. Hello? Hi, Mary. This is Dick. Oh, hi, Dick. How are you? Fine. Hey, I hear you were great in the game last Saturday. Boy, it sure was a close one. Yeah, but we pulled through all right. Hey, maybe now we'll go on and win the championship. Well, I sure hope so. Say, Mary, as you know, the prom's the 24th. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Would you like to go with me? Dick, it sounds great. I'd love to. And Jack said his folks are fixing a midnight supper for our crowd after the dance. That'll be fun. So we'll be late getting home. Will that be all right? Oh, I'm sure it will be. But why don't you let me check with Mother tonight? How about if I pick you up at 7.30? That's fine. Good. See you then. Goodbye, Dick, and thanks for calling. Just little things. A few thoughtful courtesies ensure the success of this very special evening. The boy thinks ahead. Make sure of transportation early. When's this thing gonna run? I don't know. I guess about two months. <laughs> I'm getting a little anxious myself. Dad, I have a date for the prom. I'd like to use the car. Well, did you ask your mother? She said it was all right. It's okay with you. I've got no objection, as long as you take care of it. I treat it as if it were my very own. The girl thinks ahead, too, with all the excitement and enthusiasm that only a prom can bring. The dress gets a second look at home, and the dream of a big evening is well on its way. Naturally, her closest friend gets all the details, down to the last scene. And the color, Linda, is just perfect. It's a delicate pale yellow with tiny daisies scattered on the skirt and across the top. Oh, it sounds neat. Well, yours sounds great, too. I can hardly wait to see it. And girls aren't the only ones who are concerned about clothes for this occasion. The word's out. Everybody's going to wear a tux. Well, all I have is a black one. What do you think? Sounds okay. I think I'm going to wait and find out what Mary's dress is like. Maybe I can wear my white dinner jacket. No suits, though. Right. It's formal. All the way. See ya. A thoughtful touch on the boy's part is to be sure that the flowers he sends are a perfect match for his date's dress. Hello, Linda. Has Mary talked to you about the dress she's wearing to the prom? She sure has, and wait till you see it. It's beautiful. Well, fill me in. I have to make sure I have the right corsage. Well, to start with, it has... Then Dick tells it all to the florist. A bouffant skirt of pale yellow taffeta with lots of daisies scattered all over. Oh, and the bodice is covered with daisies, too. And to top it off, it's strapless. All that on one dress? Could be mighty pretty, though. I guess so. But what kind of corsage do you get for a dress that's covered with daisies? Well, there's one thing for sure. We don't put any flowers on the dress. I guess you'd look like a garden. Well, that only leaves us two other ways to go. A wrist corsage or a nosegay. What's that? Come on, I'll show you. By finding out exactly what kind of flowers to send, the boy avoids disappointments, such as color clashes, or problems such as what to do with a shoulder corsage when his date shows up in a strapless gown. By taking care of all the little details in advance, he can look forward to the evening with confidence. How do you like it? You're a lovely young lady. Oh, thanks, Daddy. All the glamour and excitement of a new formal is shared, first of all, with the family. Just little things, but they do make a big difference. The girl shows her thoughtfulness by being ready on time. The boy arrives on time so the girl's dress doesn't go limp while she sits around waiting. He takes a few moments for small talk to give her parents a chance to size up the fellow who's taking their daughter out. And naturally, she shows up before he runs out of conversation. Hi. Dad, 
Dick, your flowers are just beautiful. They're perfect with my dress. Well, I have to admit, I had a little help. They are lovely, Dick. Aren't and they? dear, you just look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Say, if you two don't want to be late, you better be on your way. All right. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Dick, have a nice time. Okay. Oh, we will. See you later. Good night, Dick. Good night. And have fun. So with ease, the big evening begins. Thoughtfulness here keeps party shoes and a formal dress from having to hike through the parking lot. The prom. It's a pleasure. For Judy and Lee. For Linda and Jack. June and Tom. Robin and Ed. And all their other friends. They're here to have a big time. It's a sure thing for everyone when the fun of the evening is shared by all. How do you do? I'm Dick Carter. This is Mary Moore. I am very glad to meet you. How do you do? After meeting the first person in the receiving line, they exchange greetings with each chaperone. I'm so glad to know you. I'm Mrs. Bell. From now on, dancing and fun are one and the same thing for the boy and girl. And the couples usually exchange dances within their own group. The boy fills out the girls' dance program. Of course, he takes the first and last dance and also writes in four others, leaving one dance each for Jack, Tom, Lee, and Ed. The program is a way of keeping dances straight and also gives the couples a chance to dance with each other. Dance floor etiquette calls for certain considerations that add to the evening and make more fun for everyone. The girl precedes the boy to the dance floor. The boy goes first when there's such a crowd that he needs to open the way. Lee applauds the orchestra. Judy chooses not to. Either way is correct. Thank you very much for the dance. It was fun. Let's see what this Lee is. escorts Judy off the dance floor so that she's not stranded. He leaves her with her next partner, our friends. Another dance begins, and Tom's ready to claim a program partner. Hi, Mary Brandon. Is that a dance? Right. Yeah. See, isn't that band great? It sure is. When Jack asks for a non-program dance, he has a special way of asking. Fine. Look mighty pretty tonight. Thank you. Can I have the next dance, please? I'd love to. Didn't I see you in Smooth, hand? isn't he? He doesn't embarrass her by asking if this dance is taken, which might imply that she hasn't been asked. to a cut-in. It never occurs to him to refuse. Lee knows the cut-in should be considerate also and not come back later when he's dancing again with June. intermission? Everyone, of course. And this is fun, too. The music may stop, but consideration goes right on. Another example of consideration. Someone remembers that chaperones like refreshments, too. And they also enjoy joining in the conversation. Couples who usually keep their group very small 
find that widening their circle, sharing the intermission with others, makes the evening more fun for everybody. Intermission over, the music begins, and back to dancing. Well, for most couples anyway. But this is a good time to say that any girl stuck with a show-off instead of a dancer has social custom on her side if she wants to break it up. Dance floor collisions happen now and then. That's quite all right. But even though Linda just might have been at fault, the boy takes the blame. No casualties, and the dancing goes on. This is it. The last dance. The one the girl saves for her favorite fellow. Linda for Jack. and Judy for Lee. June for Tom. Robin for Ed. All through the evening, the dance program has kept track of who's dancing with whom. But now it's much more than that. It's a souvenir of the prom, with autographs running off the margins. Memories of that special date with that special young man. Now it's time to say goodnight to the chaperones. But prom night isn't over. Whether it's a snack on the way home or a more formal buffet at Jack's house, the evening continues in the same way, with graciousness, consideration, and fun. For couples invited to someone else's home, it's important to remember that hosts should be appreciated, not taken for granted. Okay, how are you? Hi there, Robin. And the genuine hospitality of Mr. and Mrs. Nelson puts the final touch on a perfect evening. Considerate escorts make sure their dates don't have to remind them that it's time to go. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. well, Robin, are you going already? Wish yeah. you wouldn't leave so soon. Yeah. I'm so glad you could come. We had a wonderful time. Thank you very much. Pleasure was all ours. Have your mother come in tomorrow. All right, Robin. Right. Bye. Good night. Good night. Oh, we enjoyed having you. Yeah. Hurry back. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Prom was great. Mm -hmm, it sure was. I had a wonderful time. I had a great time, too. I think it was because of you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.